Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. For today's workout, you need a yoga block. If you don't have a yoga block at home, grab a small couch pillow and we'll get started lying on our backs. So, laying on down, you're gonna make sure your cervical spine is nice and lengthened onto the mat. You're gonna press down to the feet and lift your seat up. And just allow, again, the yoga block to lay underneath your sacrum, closer to the tailbone, less to the lower back, right? So just slide it down a bit. And you could just rest your hands down onto your belly. Take a big breath in through your nose. And a nice exhale out the mouth. One more like that. Big breath in, really feeling, filling up those back ribs expanding the sides of the ribs and a nice exhale so just drop in let your pelvis weight a little heavier into the yoga block good more active breath inhale again I want you to actively draw the navel back towards the spine on your next exhale as the ribs knit in and down don't let that change the spine one more breath like that Exhaling, abdominals draw in, the ribs knit in and down, starting to feel those coarsening muscles protect the spine. Good, we'll add in a little march, so take a big breath in. At the bottom of your next exhale, really hug belly to spine and march your right leg to tabletop. Inhale, place that foot down, and then your opposite leg, exhale, marches to tabletop, and comes right back down. So you can lift the arms up if you'd like as we continue to march those legs from side to side. And we're maintaining a nice neutral pelvis. So your tailbone is lengthening towards the wall in front of you. And you have nice even weight on both sides of your hips, right? Keep marching, keep breathing. A few more here. Being mindful, those bottom ribs stay hugging in and down. Good. After a few more, you're gonna start to keep one leg up and take the other one to tabletop. Good, from here, shins are parallel to the ceiling. You're gonna hinge from that right leg, exhale, toes tap the floor, inhale, pick it up, and then the left leg hinges and then brings it back. So arms are yours, you can place them and rest your arms down beside you. Just know that wherever you're at, your shoulder blades are broad and heavy and wide on the mat. Keep marching, hinging on the exhale. Inhale to pick it back up. So every time we exhale, really hugging the belly to the spine. Good. If you're comfortable here and want a little bit more of a challenge, maybe lead this into a double toe tap. So ankles, knees, and thighs together. Both toes reach towards the floor and back up. Again, the closer your heels are towards your bum, the less it will be for the low abs, if you want a little challenge, reach them a little further. But if your ribs start popping up off the mat, maybe take it back. Good. Exhaling and inhaling. Around five more. Four. Three. Two. Good, and one. Legs come back, you can actually let them rest, knees into the chest. Notice how the pelvis will change, rock towards you, that's fine. Weight your tailbone heavy, one more thing here. From here, flex those toes, take a breath on your exhale, extend your right leg out. Inhale, bring it back in, and your opposite leg out, exhale, left. Good, and again, play around with where you're lowering that leg. Higher, a little easier on the low back. Lower, a little more challenging for that deep core. Wherever you're at, your neck is easy breezy here. Collarbones wide. A few more to each side. Two. Two. One more. Good, take a breath. This time, plant your feet down to the mat. 
lift your seat and remove the yoga block. You should feel nice and grounded here in the pelvis. Grab the yoga block and just take it lengthwise, right in the middle of your inner thighs. Around a bridging here. Again, arms are yours, up or down, take a breath. Gentle squeeze of the yoga block, tuck your tailbone on your next exhale and start to lift the hips up. Eventually a set of ribs and you'll again be in your shoulder bridge. Pausing here at the top, squeeze the brick gently and then slowly exhale, melt your spine down. One vertebra at a time. Inhale to a neutral spine. And then again, tucking the tail, squeezing those cheeks at the top, take a pause, and then rolling it down. Good, you'll do a few more at your own pace. Keep tracking those knees forward, abs zipping up in opposition. Two-ish more. Keep the collarbones broad as you lengthen the spine back down. On the next bridge, you're gonna pause here. Good, squeeze the brick gently. You're gonna lower your hips down about two inches and float it right back up. Pelvis drops two inches and then float it back up. So keep the ribs uninvolved, just the pelvis is lowering and lifting. Inhaling and exhaling. Good. Keep that gentle squeeze of the yoga block. You got five. You have four. Three. Two. One more. Hips are up. Take a pause. And then use that exhale. Melt the spine down. Remove the block off to the side. Hug your right knee into the chest. Take a big breath in. And on your exhale, just extend your right leg up to the ceiling ever so much and bend it. A few more. Good, one more. Good, from here, bend your right knee, hold it in and curl your head, heart and shoulders up. Your left leg is gonna extend out long in front of you. Take a pause and on your exhale, you're gonna tuck your tailbone, give me a few rock and rolls in that position. Maybe one more. You'll come up to a very tall seat. So keeping that right leg close to you. Draw the abdominals in and up. Your left leg is gonna hover off the floor. Maybe flex that foot. You're gonna open it out two inches to the left and then hug it back in. Ever so slightly it opens and closes. Three more. Try to stay tall in those sitting bones. Try not to lean back, two. One more. Pause, lower that leg down. Take a breath. We're gonna tuck the tailbone gaze towards that navel. You're going to slowly roll down, finding the base of the shoulder blades. Take a pause on your exhale switch. Inhale, breathe, exhale switch. Good. So into your single leg stretch here. Just a few more to each side. You got two, two, one, one. Maybe that left knee is there. You're going to rest your spine down and just bend your right knee. Interlace your hands behind that left thigh, just extend it and bend it. Just a few times. Elbows wide so the collarbones stay open. One more. Bend that left knee, curl the head, heart, and shoulders up. Your right leg will, will extend again. Take a big breath and again, scoop and tuck. Just give yourself a few rock and rolls. Two. One. Come all the way to that tall seat. Again, seated tall, flex that right foot, and just give it a little lift off the floor. Soft ribs, it opens and closes. Opens and closes. Three, two, one more. Bring it in, take a breath. You know what's next, tucking the tail, gently roll back, back, back. Rolling down to the base of the shoulder blades. This time, take a pause. Both legs come in. Both arms and legs extend. Double leg stretch and bring it in. Lengthen just the arms and legs. Reach away. Try to stay at the base of the shoulder blades. Keep your eyes on your abs. Try to keep that pelvis nice and neutral. Tailbone heavy. You're here for four. Good. Try to really stretch more. Three. Bring it in. Last two. Bring it in. One more. And rest. Knees into the chest. Maybe give those knees a little rock side to side. 
keep those knees into the chest, just rock and roll to seated. Cross your ankles and come to all fours. So shoulders over those wrists, knees meet the hips. Give yourself a cat cow or two. A few more. One more. Good, so from here, I want you to take your hands a handprint forward, right? So now they're slightly forward in front of your shoulders. Take a breath on your exhale, you're gonna send those elbows down, just a tap, and you're gonna press away and lift them up. So again, clavicles open, the forearms come down, you press into those 10 knuckles and those fingertips, and you rise right back up. Keep going. So elbows wrapping back, so we're firing up those triceps and the sternum, the heart reaching forward in opposition. So as you lower, think of the heart reaching towards those thumbs. Good, two more like just like this before we add on. One more. Good, now from here, you're gonna plant those forearms down, take a breath. Your left leg will extend out long. It will bend and we will extend. Keep going with the left, so down. Out, in, press away. Good, let's go for four. Three. Last two. On the last one, we're gonna hold it. Keep that left leg out. Tiny pulses up with that left leg. Only up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now pause with that leg up. It's gonna open a little to the left and then hug back in. Left leg opens out to the side and then hugs back in. Just a few more here. Again, being mindful those front ribs are knitting in and down. We got four, three, two, one more. Now the next time you take your left leg out to the side, take it all the way to the side of you, all the way to that hip, and press onto those palms, walk it in. Just a little stretch of those hips back and forth, back and forth. Last two, look forward, one more. Shoulders return right back over those wrists. Tuck your toes under the, the right foot and you're gonna lift your tail up and back to this weird three-legged dog. Good, and then you're gonna come right back down. Two more times. And back down around, one more. Good, now from here, you're gonna take your right forearm, make sure it's parallel to the wall in front of you, and then that left leg's gonna lift, and that left leg's gonna lower. Left leg will lift. Left leg will lower. You have six, five. All that support in that right side body. Three, right oblique, right shoulder, right outer hip. Two, hold that leg up, take a breath. You're gonna bend it and extend it back. Exhale, you're gonna bend it, return it forward again. Bend, extend, reach it back. Bend, reach it forward. Just a few more, four. Three, two, last one. Left leg long and strong, pulse it up. Only up, you have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest it down. Come to all fours, just plant those hands a good handprint forward. Press the hips slightly forward, you're in a modified plank, or you can find the full plank. Pausing here for two cycles of breath in. Exhaling, really feeling the strength through those legs, the glutes. One more. And just rest your knees down. Take a child's pose. Walk your hands on in, and we're gonna repeat that all on the other side. So back to hands and knees. Take your hand to hand, print forward, and then we'll go for those tricep presses. So as we repeat this, you really wanna think of those armpits wrapping in towards your heart. A little tap, 
and right back out. One long line from head to toe. We're going for four and then committing to it. We lower down in three and two. Pause it down on one. Right leg extends back, exhale, it bends and you press away. Keep going, then lengthen that leg back and press away. A few more here, you have four. Three. Two. Committing to it on one. Pull that right leg out. Right leg starts to pulse up and up, only up, six, five, four, three, two, maintain those square hips, right leg opens out to the right, hugs back in towards your midline, opens and closes, few more, keep that right pinky edge side of the foot wrapped to the floor, keep going, you have three, two, one more. Next time that right leg goes out to the right, take it all the way to the right beside your hip and come up to those palms. Little shift of those hips back and forth. Tending up to fingertips, keeping your gaze forward. One more. Shoulders back on top of those wrists. Take your left forearm, plant it down. Rotate your chest to the right. Keep those hips square, hover your right leg up and down. Exhale, it goes up and lowers down with control. Your head can stay looking towards the floor. Three, two, one leg is up, take a breath, bend it in, reach it back, exhale, kick, in forward, shoot it forward, breathe in, exhale, back, bend it in, extend it forward, a few more here. Collarbones nice and broad, Two more times. One more time. You're gonna meet me with that right leg back, long and strong, pulses up. Press that bottom hip forward. Just eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest it down. Good. come back to hands and knees from here. Let's step that right leg back to the side of us again. Left toes tuck under, take those hips up and back, and then plant that knee down two more times. One more time. Good, and then from here, let's come back to all fours. Walk those hands again, a nice hand print forward, and swing those hips forward. High plank here, take a breath. Feet are gonna be hip distance apart. Collarbones are broad, push down to the palms, pike your hips up. Good, and then come back to your plank. Two more times. And back to your plank. Last time. Come back to your plank, gaze is forward, neck is long, hold for three. Abs pulling in and up. Two, one, and rest your knees down. Child's pose. Good, I'm gonna leave you today with a new move. So extending your legs out in front of you, take them about hip dis um, mat distance apart and just place the yoga block right in the middle of your ankles. Tall seat here, maybe hands slightly propped behind you. You're gonna take your right leg up, take it over that block and back down. Left leg lifts, it goes up and over. Good, so a little bit of hip work this mat series here. We did a little version earlier. Lifting the leg up and over. Just a few more. One more to each side. Good. Reach for the block. Just take your legs a little wider and stretch the spine forward. You could leave the block there. Maybe walk your hands in, keeping the chest open, collarbones broad. Good. 
Finishing off our workout today with our hands, fingertips facing our bum, heels pressing down to the mat. A little reverse bridge here, you're gonna lift those hips up. Gaze is forward, chin is parallel to the floor and then lower your hips down. If that is too much for you, you're gonna bend your knees and repeat it, hips straight up. Finishing off those triceps again today with straight arms, lift the hips up, looking straight ahead, and lower it down one more time. Strong shoulders, triceps, abs, all working hard. Good, float those arms up, take a big breath in, and another hinge forward. Uh, grab your block, take a tall seat right in the center of your mat. Uh, reach the block out in front of you, long nails. Take a big breath in, float the arms up. A nice little press of the brick as you exhale. Bring them at heart center. Two more breaths, inhale, arms up. Exhale, little squeeze into that brick. Exhaling, feeling that pelvic floor pull up. One more breath here. Squeeze the brick, hold. Pull that brick to your heart, take a big breath in. Look right, look left, look center. Lengthen the brick forward. Last time, breathing in, hold that breath in. Look left, look right, look center. And you guys are all done. Nice work today. 